Today we're being joined by Willem Dersma from the Gippsland Power and a future AFL draft prospect. Willem, thanks for coming on, mate. No, grateful to be here. It's good, it's good stuff. Appreciate it. Now, obviously everyone is familiar with the last name Dersma being the brother of Zave and Zane and Yaz as well. Um, how did the football journey, Willem, start for you? Um, so, yeah, it was um, obviously everyone knows my brothers and brothers and sister. Um, yeah, it's pretty, yeah. pretty open topic. I think that uh, it's just, so it started with like under 12s and juniors, just oh, just being in it for fun, like just trying it out. Didn't really have, like, yeah, no. Nah. It was, it was good in under 10s, under 12s, like just getting a game. I, I really enjoyed it. And I was obsessed mm. with it. That's good. Now, obviously, this year, Willem, you obviously you played a few few positions at the Gippsland Power this year. Not being a draftee this year, but for the year after, and obviously being talked about at the moment. And obviously, you've got a few sports to choose between. Um, for Surf Sauce, with the Gippsland Power, for your type of role you're playing, mate, on the field? Uh, yeah, so at the minute, I, I reckon it changes fully every week. Um, it's good. It's good, certainly, to have versatility, I guess, in the game. But um, yeah, no, so one week I'll be playing like a link forward role. Next, I'll be playing out on a wing or then key defence. Like, yeah, it, it changes every week. But, nah, it's certainly good to get, like, a, a bit of experience in every every part of the field because you never know where you're going to get used sometimes. But, yeah, no, nah, it's good. That's, that's spot on, mate. That's well said because, you know, versatility, as you know, and your brothers and sisters would know, it's very important these days, you know, where you have to. Versatility is very key in all sports, in particular footy, you know, where if you're struggling in one spot, you could find yourself out of the team. But if you're, you know, a dual position player, you can play somewhere else and, you know, could get, play there as well. Certainly. That's right. Now, obviously, you're pretty good, I hear, Willem, at basketball as well. Um, now, I'm sure at some point you'll have to make that decision whether you go for one or, or the other. Have you made up your mind yet or is it something that you're long down the track to still making that decision um, no, I was cer certainly going to go with the footy path. I um, I'm still, I'm still playing basketball every Friday night and a bit of Monday <laughs> night, and this year, but no, nah, still, I just, I just enjoy it, like a bit of fitness. It also helps footy, like my aware spatial awareness and stuff, and like, mm. it, like overs and stuff. Like, yeah, it certainly helps basketball. Mm, that's right, for sure. It certainly would with the versatility and everything like that, and agility and everything like that. Um, yeah. okay, so what's it been like, you know? Watching from afar, seeing Zave and Zane and Yaz get to the positions they're in now, um, and is it kind of a good thing to kind of learn and know what you have to expect because they all three of them have been in the same position as you have or want to get into? Um, sorry, what was that? <laughs> good. So obviously, your brothers and sisters have obviously been in the and are currently in the system right now. So does that give you any like added uh, relief? I suppose knowing that from those three individually, they know what it takes to be at the level and you can kind of learn off them as well because they're right there with you. Um, yeah, so it's, yeah, it's certainly, yeah, I, I certainly know like the pathway on how to get there and like what I have to do and how I have to mm. perform. Um, and so there's also probably like a little bit of pressure that I have to like, oh, everyone, like, everyone mm. and me, stuff, oh, I've really got to make it, i really got to make it, make a stand and stuff like that. I don't know, yep. I'm just... I'm pretty laid back about it all. I know that I know I know what I want to do. It's yeah. just out of how I get there and like my effort and stuff. Mm, for sure, absolutely. Now, on the topic of pressure, Willem, does it? Do you feel any added pressure a little bit that you just kind of hinted at there? Obviously, with your sister and your brothers being in the system already, and then obviously you mentioned the media talking about you now as well. Even though it's not your draft year this year, um, how do you feel with all that? Um, no, nah, I, I test pretty calm. Like, I, I don't really read much into it. I just, I know what I have to do and I just have to take it by week by week basis. And I, certainly, it's certainly good that I have like the, my brother and sister, I know what the, what, how they got into that stuff. And yeah, it's mm. pretty, I think, and I just got to take it week by week. So who did you grow up supporting? <laughs> um, so when Xavier was born, he was born in the like 2000s and stuff when mm -hmm. Brisbane's flags. And yep. so he grew up backing for Brisbane and we didn't really have a choice. So we kind of just went for Brisbane. There we go. I remember, I remember Willem when I had uh, Zave on last year, maybe the year, year before, the year before the last year at Port Adelaide. And uh, he mentioned that with your dad and family, you know, you kind of like stuck with the Lions and that was that. Yeah. But right now, though, 
Have, are you still with Brisbane right now? Do you float between the three other teams where your siblings are at? How's that all work now? Yeah, so nah. Um, <laughs> I'm currently currently floating in between, um, obviously Essendon and North Melbourne. But um, yeah, no, nah, I, cl- I clearly go for Carlton in the, in the AFLW. Yeah. yeah, all that. Um, but no, nah, it's definitely pretty tough. A lot of people would just say like, "Oh, which one do you go for?" It's like, "Oh." Well, it's pretty hard, you know. I got. I can't really choose a brother, so I'll just say I go for both. <laughs> That's a safe way to go about it. Um, h- how was it though having Zave and Yaz away when they were in Adelaide for that time? They were, yeah, obviously with your family and with Zane. Um, but was it tough though having part of your family in another state for a while? Um, yeah, certainly. I think the con, like, I didn't really, I, because I never really had much time to go over to Adelaide. I don't know. Certainly, mum and dad did, but because yeah. I was playing every week in local and stuff. like I couldn't really get over there as much and they didn't really have that many Victoria games so it was kind yeah. of hard yeah no nah, it's it's certainly it's it's a lot easier now, both back in Melbourne and everyone's in Victoria so yeah it's a lot easier that's right that's good so obviously when I spoke to Zane last year as well we we're talking about who is the better sibling footballer who would you say that is Willem I think oh don't um oh, don't quote me on this I'm pretty sure Zane mentioned you who would you have as the best player in the family, um, pure pure skill wise, I'd, I'd probably say Zane. I reckon. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I think Zane's work stuff is pretty good, and Yazzie, mm. yeah, also improving a lot. I think that yeah, she'll get a lot better. I just think that Zane's skill is just far superior to everyone else. Yeah, that's fair. How do you feel, um, Zane and Zave have gone in this current football season? Um. Yeah, I think Xavier's had a really good start to the season. I think his his confidence towards the end of the year last year had certainly been tested, mm-hmm. but um, he looks pretty good and he looks comfortable out there this year. Obviously, he's injured, but um, yeah, he should be pretty ready to go. And um, yeah, look, Zane, he's doing well as well. Like, <laughs> um, he's doing he's doing a good job. I think that his uh his role will certainly be tough sometimes, but he's yeah he's doing. That's right. Now, Willem, what would you say is some of your biggest strengths as football? You mentioned playing a few roles this year. Every week it yeah. changes. Up. What would you say is your biggest strengths? Um, certainly my marking. I think I try. I try to pride myself a lot on my marking. Um, mm-hmm. and so like my 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 field kicking as well. I think that that's pretty pretty good. What would you say is some goals you set for yourself this year? Um, so some goals I've set for myself, I think that I've just got to try and be more consistent. So last year playing different levels of footy, I think I, I lost a bit of consistency through the middle part of the year. So I'm just trying to be consistent. Who would you say has been one of the toughest opponents you've ever, ever had to match up on at, at, at any level? Um, that's a good question. I reckon, oh, who would it be? I reckon... Ollie Graves last year playing with Victor. Uh, mm-hmm. he's good. Yeah. How was it, Willem, being a part of the championships um, for Vic, um, playing against the best of the best, and getting to play alongside the best? Well, and how valuable that is, especially at that age for you. So when you were sixteen at that point, to play in those championships with the best players coming through with you, or ones above. Yeah. Um, no, it was certainly a good experience. I think it's it um it yeah it really helps set us up ready for the under champs. And um, I think all the boys certainly took it, like, pretty positive. And, um, yeah, it was really just good fun, good experience. So, so obviously, Gibson Parrot in the under-18s in the coach league, obviously, four and two at the moment. That is a log jam, I think, for the top six or so, being around the similar points margin. Uh, how do you feel the boys have started so far this year? Yeah, no, I think we've, I think we've done pretty well. Um, obviously, there's areas that we can improve on. I think yeah, everyone has areas they can improve on, but... Um, I think yeah, a week by week basis. I think we do we do a good job. We play to our strengths, and we don't really like try and get ahead of ourselves and like worry about what the other teams are doing. I think we just worry about what we do and how we can win the game, which is good. Now, if you had to pick one preferred position, Willem, if you were the coach picking your own position on the field, what position would you be picking? Since they float you around now, who? What, if you get one spot to pick, where is it? Um. Yeah, I reckon at the minute, probably like centre-half back, I reckon. That'd be okay. a good spot. Yeah. 
it's, but it's, in, it's interesting. You know, you always hear a lot of people that like to say, oh, they want to go forward and they want to do it because they want to kick goals. Why do you feel you would want to choose the back line, like to stop the goals? Um, um, <laughs> I reckon just because, like, I feel like I'm pretty composed behind the play. I can read it well. And I can certainly, like, help rebound and just get score on the board for us. Yeah. I think I'd be damaging there. Mm, that's good. Uh, is yeah. leadership in any sport, Willem, is that something that's ever been something that you've crossed your mind, something you've been a part of in the past or something you want to look into it in the future? Um, yeah, so I was I was captain last year for Big Country, which was um yeah, it was a good experience. Uh you certainly you certainly see a game from a different pers- perspective as a captain. Like you gotta lead by example and you gotta you gotta really do whatever you can to look to make help your teammates. And I think you really gotta put that team first mindset when you're the captain. For sure. Um playing in the coast league at the moment, obviously, well I'm obviously Gippsland's obviously a fair way away from some of those Melbourne more Melbourne based sides. How's the travel component for you? So had a few people on from the people that have a similar distance tra- uh, traveling wise like yourself. Um, how do you cope with all that? Um, yeah, look, I've I've grown up with it my whole life, driving to the city and back and like from anywhere around Victoria. Yeah. And uh, I, it's not really that it's not really that bad for someone like me. Like I'm pretty used to it. I don't really mm. it doesn't really That's fair. Now I'm sure you've had this happen, William, so many times. How many people pronounce your name wrong and call you William, or, or they just pronounce or pronounce Dersma wrong or spell it wrong? How many times you've had that happen? Um, yeah, look, a fair, fair few times. I think I, I've, I think I've certainly got to the point where I, do, I sometimes don't even pick people up on it. I think I'll just go with it. <laughs> it's pretty funny. That's I know. I mean, I was at a point being Cooper. I get like, I don't know how people spell Cooper with double P, like copper. Like it, it just doesn't. You say it out loud and look at it. It's like that's a cop, and it's just. I, don't, I, I'm like you. I'm like whatever now. I don't even really say anything now. I'll read. Someone will send me a message and I'll say that. I'm like whatever. I'm not even trying anymore at this point. But it is what it is. What? So what nicknames do you prefer? Um, I think I think like the best nickname for me. Is- they gave me was worm like everyone around the footy clubs and stuff call me worm and stuff which is, is pretty but yeah mm, not not, too, not bad there um what are some fun facts about you Willem, that people may not know about you um fun. um I don't know, i'm not really uh that interested at first but um certainly like um bit of like a I, I do have a bit of like surfing back here. like i tend to go surfing in my free time a fair bit um and what else no i don't really have many fun facts to be honest i'm pretty i'm pretty straightforward that's good um so obviously defenders will i feel like they deserve a bit more love publicly from an afl and an aflw point of view in particular like obviously you see uh, all the midfields get talked about for the Brownlow and, and the Rucks get recognised in Brownlow votes and the Fords obviously got the Coleman. Do you feel, Willem, that the defenders deserve their own official award as well like those other positions have at that level? Um, yeah, look, <laughs> I don't mind the old golden fist that they have on the bounce. I think that's certainly a great award for the defenders. But um, I think as the game evolves, I think the back line will tend to get used more and will be more important. And, um, yeah, I think, I mean, yeah, you, you'll... We'll see soon enough that there'll be more awards, I guess, that could be based around the back line. But, yeah. Now, oh, you've been really good at basketball, Willem. Um, how's the basketball journey been for you and throughout your basketball and football journey? Have you had any accomplishments or premierships or accolades that you've won throughout your time? Um, oh, so if we've, I've won a fair few amount of tournaments around in the Gippsland area, like local tournaments um, for basketball with Lane Gatha. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I think I nearly like we nearly accomplished something pretty great this year. We're nearly winning the junior country champs. I can all with Lane Gather. We lost to Ballarat in the grand final, but well, I think that yep. that's like a small town compared to Ballarat. Um, and footy wise, I I've never really had much like success locally and 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 all that sort of stuff. But yeah, it's fair enough. Um, at the Gippsland Power or any of the Vic Country so, uh, Vic sides, um, who would you say some of your favourite teammates? Um, certainly like Brody Atkins and Cooper Walton and Tommy Matthews. I think they're really good teammates, like good blokes. Um, I know Zabe Lindsay is also a really good teammate, good leader. Um, 
yeah, I could I could go through nearly the whole team, give you power. I think that's all a really good group. That's what you want to hear. Um, if your teammates were to describe you, Willem, in a word or a sentence, how would they describe you? Um, jeez, I can bit bit shy. I reckon I'm a bit shy sometimes, but uh, yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's one of the words you'd hear maybe. <laughs> that's that's fair enough. Who loves the limelight, the attention, the camera at the Gippsland Power, and they can't get enough of it, and they know exactly what to do when a camera's around. Um, I reckon that's that's a Ricky Mentha job. I reckon he's good at that. <laughs> he 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 is. I've had I don't know if you noticed, but I did have Ricky on about a month or so ago. He definitely does yeah. like it. Yeah, he loves it. He absolutely does. Um, who's some teammates? Uh, Will, you've kind of been impressed by the Gippsland Power. They kind of fly under the radar a little bit. Maybe some names you mentioned, maybe ones you haven't mentioned, they kind of fly under the radar a little bit and don't get talked about as much as you feel they should. Um, I think, like, Alex Turu, I reckon. Like, he's, he's injured at the minute. But I think what he's, the work that he's done earlier on the year, like his intercept marking and stuff, it's been pretty, it's been really good to have. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Oh, so that's good. Now, if you were to... Um, pick Mark or goal of the year. Which one would you rather do and why? Oh, jeez. I reckon, I reckon Mark of the year. Mm-hmm. Nothing, like, nothing like a good hang-up. Certainly, <laughs> certainly good fun. Can't go really wrong either way, can you? You get um, a good highlight reel. Now, speaking of highlights reels, uh, Willem, obviously I'm sure you've seen all these posts about you, especially on Instagram and stuff, of all these highlight reels and stuff like that. Um, would you be one if you were to get these good highlight reels or do good mark of goal that you contend videos and they're on film, would you be one to post it? I certainly wouldn't post it myself, but I think, yeah, I'll certainly admire it. <laughs> nah, that's, not, that's good. Fair enough. Um, what is the best goal you've kicked at any level at any point? So I don't even have to be in an official game. Um, I reckon the best goal I reckon was local last year playing is I was running at the boundary and kicked the snap, and uh, yeah, it was pretty good. And I said, now speaking, I'm sure you had some form of a celebration. Have you got a go to goal celebration at all? I I don't actually. Um, I, I tend to not actually kick that many goals. I mean, when I get what I do, but I don't really know what to do. I just get a bit excited. I don't really celebrate. <laughs> That's fair enough. What do you think of Zave's bow and arrow? I, I, it's a pretty good one. Yeah, I think yeah, no, I think it's a pretty good celebration. Um, he enjoys it certainly. And I think that a lot of like young kids and stuff like they're looking yeah. at some like oh, oh, the Xavier does with celebration, and it's like oh, you know, it's it's good fun. It's it's a good one. Um, now, hmm. All right, so I'm going to mention some teammate questions to you, Willem, to see how you go here. Some may like yep. it, some may not like it. Who would you say is the best chatterbox of the club? Uh, Max Doby. All right. Uh, loudest and quietest teammates? Uh, quietest, Max Donahue. And loudest, yeah, Max Doby. Uh, if you were stuck on a deserted island with teammates, who would you bring and not bring and why? Um, I would not bring Kufa Walton. He's uh, <laughs> He would be a hindrance to the group. He'd just get us <laughs> off track. Yeah. Um, I'd I'd definitely bring Zave. He's a he's a pretty pretty sharp guy, and I reckon I'd bring Asher Easton. He's also a pretty smart guy. But you you need smart people on an island. You want to get off it. You don't want people that aren't the best. Um, because yeah. then you never get off. Yeah. I've got some hot topic food questions. I don't know what's with people here in Australia, Willem. They always get so worked up over these questions. So I've got six food questions. For context, I've only had 12 people over, 100 people get this all correct. Um, and only seven people have said the illogical wrong answer for this first one. So the first one, I've got a feeling, Willem, that you're going to say the opposite to this one, but we'll see. Chicken palmy. Is it a palmy or is it something else? Um, um. Uh, just for some reason, I knew you'd say that. Um, all right. And like I say to the other seven that said that or a different answer, why do you feel it's that when it's spelt with an I and pronounced like that? Um, yeah, look, I just, you know, pick chicken parmigiana. I just I just think that the A at the end. So okay. okay. Fair enough. At least you gave me a reason. The other ones won't even give me a reason. They just say <laughs> it is. And I don't think that's a valid reason at all. So here we are. All right. Pineapple on a pizza, yes or no? Yes. 
Oh, gee, we're not on the greatest of starts, but that's okay. Tomato okay. sauce or fridge? Um, covered. We're, we're on the board. Now, the lowest we've ever got is a bunch of people on three. So, no one's ever got two. So, you're one for three. All right. Uh, favorite food? Um, you can't go wrong with a lasagna. No, that's good. Two for four. There we go. Food you don't like? I'm not much of an avocado fan. Good. Here we go. You're safe. Three or five. And favorite takeaway place? Um, I reckon rolled. Okay. What, what is that? Just for context? Um, I don't know. I, I just, I just, you know, it's a go-to every now and then. I, cert okay. I certainly. Very nice. I'm just going to feel for you, mate. So I do appreciate you coming on. Some of your most prized possessions. Um. What is there? I don't know. I can, yeah. I'm more of a, I'm a, uh, a footy boot collector. I've got a like a pretty big, pretty big footy boot collection. I think I pride myself on that. Any particular favorite boot designs you have or brand? Um, oh, I, I can Puma at the minute. Like the Puma Futures, they're pretty good. But um, the last year Tiempos, they were they were definitely up there. One of my favorites. If you could map out Willem in a perfect scenario. Um, for your football journey from this year until next year's draft next year, if you can map it out in a perfect world, how would you love for it to pan out for yourself? Um, yeah, look, I think I'd just love to just obviously have just have consistency from here. Yeah. From end of next year, I think, yeah, it would, that'd just be the ideal world. Okay, now, I'm going to put you on the spot with one bonus one. If you had to pick a team to go to, would it be a team that won't, of your brothers are at right now or would you want to go separate or would you ideally like to be in the same team um i reckon uh, i i being being anywhere i think would be good but being with one of my brothers would just be a bonus i think very true will it's been a pleasure having you on mate all the best for the rest of this season and future years appreciate you coming on mate no good cheers